Today I'm rocking one of the most redundant loadouts possible, just because it's funny. I'll be using Ace of Spades, which has third eye, with knucklehead radar, which allows you to see your radar while you're aiming, with top tree night stalker, it has keen scout, which is enhanced radar, and oh yeah, I don't have a HUD, so let's use my spawn knowledge to destroy people. I'm gonna burn out, potentially. Throw that down, I'm gonna need that for later. I see he dropped green, I'm sliding to reload it. This uh, shotgun does have slide shot quick draw. So I can use it just like that. So I can shoot a bullet hand cannon, then quick draw to clean up from very far distances. It's a very, very strong combo, which is why the retold tail is one of the strongest shotties in the game. You can see I just tried to smoke out there. I'm seeing if I can grab a um, smoke gambler's dodge through the wall. Just give me a second here, regroup. I hear my shields recharging, I'm full. I hear the Titan behind me. Wasn't gonna worry about the Titan behind me until I knew he was on my heels. Okay, so it looks like he took a flank anyway. Uh, what I'll be doing when I die here is going through my radar, or I'm sorry, going through the death cam to see where everybody is so I can sort of guess where the action's going to be. So like right here, I'll be shifting the change view and it gives me a bird's eye view of the entire map and I know exactly where I want to go. Normally people stay in one area and sort of patrol, so that's why I figured that snipe would still be here. But I guess he moved inside. It's any up, I'm trying to backpedal while shooting him so that he gets dropped off and I don't. It's harder to, you know, hit me with an any up from a distance anyway, so I have the advantage there. Oh, I couldn't get him. I suck. Alright, so I see the Hunter and Titan fighting and a Warlock just won his fight up top, so someone should be spawning near me soon. There it is. Let's think. My back was this way, I killed him. Here comes the Warlock, I'm ready. Let's go invis. Where are you at? Throw the smoke and go back to the area where I'm patrolling. I hear movement. I'm gonna just be quiet and listen. He's AFK, I'm not gonna kill that. Heard a Titan jump. He'd only be jumping if he's taking the flank route, right? So. Oh, I almost messed up there. He had a good strafe. Okay. So what I did there is I tried to throw a smoke. No, I didn't have it. Then I tried to uh, gambler's dodge. And then throw another smoke. If I threw the smoke, he's close to me. If I just melee the air, he's far. So you sort of use that as deduction. Of course, I can make this really easy on myself by using like Bow Tracer, Way of the Wraith, or a Threat Detector gun. Shit, even my rocket launcher has Radar Booster and I can't take advantage of that. That's a machine gun, right? It is not. I was a little overexposed there. Slide to reload. He thinks I'm ahead, or I'm on top, I mean. There we go. Uh, by making the jump sound but not going on top, it can give somebody the indication that you're up top as long as you uh, crouch below. Crouch when you're low. They don't know that I'm HUDless. I saw he had a Jotun in his hand, so I just took my time. A melee there would have ruined me. And about to pull this off, let's go see who I'm going to kill. So I know that Titan is right there. I'm going to avoid him. And now I'm going toward... Nope, now I'm sitting still. I'll just use my tether. Ready? Titan can see me, no doubt. Oh, hold up, I might be able to pick this up if he uh, jumps back on. 
So Warlock should kill the Titan. Now let's kill the Warlock. Does he have Kill Clip? Let's look at this gun. Is it glowing? That's a rift. Okay. We're taking it down low. Popping up behind him. Oh no, he's smarter than a fifth grader. <laughs> oh, that Jotun got him. Let's uh, put a nail in this coffin. Yeah, he doesn't want to deal with me after he gets flinched off the snipe. Awesome. There we go. I'll do more mini challenges like this in the future in this commentary series. Uh, if you have any ideas, let me know in the comment section. Real quick, I'm going to interject myself in the post commentary form by saying that I forgot to mention in the live commentary that this is actually a very good practice strategy. If you're feeling like the game's a little bit too easy, if you're wanting a good way to practice, then throw off the HUD. Try to really listen in on what's happening around you, and then whenever you turn the HUD back on, you'll have that much better game sense. And of course, I don't just mean for one game, just do this for a few hours. Definitely let me know in the comment section if this practice strategy is helpful, and if not, no big deal. There'll be plenty more in the future in this commentary series. I'll see you in the next one.